Live from Ron's Pizza on South Main Bell Fountain. Welcome to Peak of Ohio Chalk Talk. Interviews with athletes and coaches from the CBC, OHC, NWCC, and more divisions and sports groups. Streaming live on peakofohio.com, this is Chalk Talk. Good evening and welcome to Chalk Talk Live here at PeakofOhio.com and at Ron's Pizza in Bell Fountain. I'm Tyler Avila. Sorry about the delay. Technical difficulties. You can't really uh, do much when that's going on. But we're live. We're here on PeakofOhio.com and at Ron's Pizza. Very awesome show lined up for you this evening. We'll start off with Miley Simovart. She is a senior golfer over at Benjamin Logan High School. Miley, thank you for joining me this evening. Thank you for having me. Hey, no problem. Sorry about the delay. I know uh, uh, we're 10 minutes past uh, original start time, but I appreciate you coming out along with your mom. Um, so the reason I have you out is because you signed with Ashland University on Monday. How was, how was the signing? How was the whole event? Um, it was really fun, uh, it, really exciting, obviously. All yep. my The whole golf team was there. And, um, I had actually already signed. It was just like the formality yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and all my friends were there and my family. So it was just a really cool thing. Now, we're going to – we'll talk about Ashland here in a sec. But I want to know what drew you to the game of golf. Uh, actually, my mom made me start playing when I was in seventh grade. Um, but shortly after that, I – I liked it, and I wanted to continue playing and continue to get better because it's just, it's really fun, and um, I'm very competitive, and I just like to be really good at things. <laughs> <laughs> understandable, understandable. Now, I was lo- looking at the article uh, from your sign, and it said that you carried a 39.8 stroke average for the Raiders uh, the last season, and you had a career best of 33 for a nine-hole match and a 70, 73 for an 18-hole in a tournament. What led to having such great numbers uh, throughout your season and your career? Um, a lot of practice in the off season and uh, working all, almost all year round um, to improve my game and improve my swing and work on my short game. Um, just a lot, a lot of practice. So is 33 for a, a nine-hole match, is that the, a new school record? Because I saw on peakofohio.com that you had a 34, which was a school record uh, that you set, I believe, last year. So I assume that's the new school record, right? Um, well, I've well, the 33 was on a par 35, so okay. it's actually both both of them the, were two under par. The 34 was on a par 36. At two, they were at two different courses, so it's technically the same, like compared to par. Yeah. <laughs> As someone who doesn't know anything about golf doesn't understand, but um, they're kind of like the same. I think they're both the school record, like in re- in relation to par. Okay. They, okay. they were both out j- last year during my junior season. Okay. Um, I did not have a score that good this year on nine holes. All right. So let's talk about your career as a golfer there at Benjamin Logan. As a freshman, how, how did you uh, how did you fare uh, being in a high school sport to start off the year? As a freshman, um, I was very nervous to to like be in a new uh, environment and a new competition and I actually went in my freshman year right after having a broken arm so I didn't um, practice all summer so but then once I was like got my cast off and healed I was I only missed one tournament and then I was actually playing uh, the number one player on the team so I had a really good freshman season compared to like how much I was practicing over the summer um and being a first year yeah. player in high school, so, or it being my first year in high school competition. So that was a really good year. So how, how did it, your first year as a, a freshman, how, how did it transform from sophomore to junior year? How, how did you progress? Um, I, start, I started getting more serious about it. And um, I had been working with my swing coach, but then I started working with a personal trainer mm-hmm. and uh, working on more of like the strength side and getting more technical as I got better, like more technical with my swing yeah. and improving it. Um, that's the transformation from freshman to sophomore and junior year. How, how was your season this year? My season this year was about the same as last year. Um, not quite as good scores, but I had some good like standout rounds and like 
more consistent. Like I had a couple really good rounds last year and then some more not as good ones. Yeah. And, but this year, I think my mental game is way better than it was last year. And at state, for example, my score improved a lot um, from junior to senior year because I think I just, uh, when I'm not having the best round, I w I'm doing way better at like uh, sticking with it and not like giving up in the middle of the round and uh, really fighting through to, to have a good score by the end and not just accepting that it's a bad day, like really fighting for a good round. Now, what is it like being out there on the green? Are, are you alone most of the time, or is there somebody with you golfing? Like, how is it during competition when you're out there performing? During competition? Yeah. Um, well, it depends. Depends on who I'm playing with. Sometimes I just kind of stick to myself and don't talk to the people I'm playing with. Um, kind of or unless they're like people that I already have played with before and I know them, I talk to them more. But it's you have to have a good balance of like staying in your zone yeah. and uh, not talking and like being really focused, but also you want to have fun. Obviously, it's not everything isn't always serious. Right. Um, and it's especially if you're not doing the best, it's, it's better to just have fun and make the most out of your round than just everything be bad about yeah. it. Yeah. No. Oh, you, you and your team, the Benjamin Logan Girls Golf Team, you won the uh, Division Two District Crown uh, this past October. Uh, may, qualified to state, you guys finished as a team as state. How was the postseason run for you guys? What was it like? It was awesome. Um, we had our, we had high expectations, obviously after last year's season making it to state. Um, but when we won sectionals and then we also won districts. Uh, we were we were more nervous at every yeah. every stage, but after winning sectionals, uh, we were like really pumped up and uh, very united as a team, and just we wanted to do the best that we could. And then going into districts, we didn't think that uh, we weren't completely sure that we would make it. Yeah. Because last year they were taking three teams from districts to take the state, and this year they only took two. Oh wow. So we were just trying to get second because last year we got third. Yes. Yeah. Um, so we were just trying to get second to make it state, and we fought so hard, and we were actually behind um, after the first nine holes, and then we ended up getting first, which was so awesome, and we were crying, and it was <laughs> it was so unbelievable yeah. um, that we uh, we just fought so hard in that tournament, and it was really awesome. Now, looking uh, looking at uh, the state tournament, your teammate Sydney Wesson, she paced the team with a 75 and an 87 with a combined 162, placing 18th. You placed uh, 21st, so a couple of spots behind her. You shot an 81 and an 84. What was it like having a teammate uh, of Sydney's caliber to help help you guys out? Um, it was great momentum for uh, the team, obviously. And uh, she, we had a uh, – well, I guess we, as a team, we didn't do great on the first day. We were actually in like eighth, I think, after the first day. She did really good, but um, a couple of people on our team didn't do as great. Mm -hmm. I didn't have the best. Well, I mean, I shot 81, but I wasn't really happy with my round. Yeah. Um, just because I left a lot of stuff out there that I should have made. I should have made some more putts and stuff, you know, but it was really good momentum for the tournament and exciting. Now you earned uh, first team all CBC. What did that mean to you? Sorry. You earned all first team all CBC. What did that mean to you? Um, it was awesome. I was um, four years in a row getting all first team. It's really cool accomplishment <laughs> that I'm really proud of. Is there any other sports uh, that you play at Benjamin Logan besides golf, or is it just golf? Just golf at Ben Logan. Okay. Uh, any other extracurricular activities like clubs or anything like that? Um, well, outside of school, I'm in martial arts. Okay. Um, I'm actually working on my black belt in karate uh, by the time I go to college. That's a, I won't mess with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't want to be embarrassed. <laughs> but that, that's awesome, though. That's pretty cool, though, uh, karate and working on your black belt. How, how was that? How was How did you get into that, and uh, what made you want to do it? Um, well, my dad is a black belt in karate, so really? cool. I actually start. My sister and I started in that when we were six and seven. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing that for ten years now. Nice, um, nice. And I'm a black stripe in karate, and I'm trying to get my black belt before I go to college. So probably, hopefully, by the summer. Um, but it's not very easy. It's really hard, obviously. I bet, yeah. And then, aside from karate, we also go to 
um, a different dojo where we do other classes mm -hmm. um, like judo, jujitsu, and aikido and iaido. So we're wow. in very mixed martial arts. <laughs> <laughs> so balancing golf and your martial arts, you also carried a 3.98 GPA. Uh, at Benjamin Logan, how are you able to balance all of your athletics, your clubs, your schoolwork to have such a successful career? Well, it's not easy. Right, um, I, I know just, that. I'm a very um, dedicated person. Like, I have high expectations for myself, especially, like, at school. Yeah. Um, I really don't accept not good grades for myself. I've actually put more pressure on myself than other people do. My mom doesn't care if I get a B, but I think an A minus is bad. <laughs> so she doesn't, it's, it's all pressure that comes from me. It's not yeah. like my mom, my parents are like really strict on me to have good grades. Yeah. Um, but it just takes a lot of time management. <laughs> yes. Yes. So Back, back to Ashland. Were there any other schools that were looking at uh, that were looking at you as a golfer, or that you were looking at just to go uh, be a part of uh, their university? Um, I was, I talked or wanted to stay in Ohio, so I was just talking to some schools yeah. in Ohio, and um, I also got contacted by a lot of out-of-state schools that I didn't like. I turned down because I didn't want to go out of state or far from home. Um, and I also want to stay at, like, a smaller school um, close to home. So that's why I like Ashland. Um, and, yeah. So with it being a school in Ohio and being small, what were other decisions that made you want to attend Ashland? Um, the coach is awesome. Uh, I, I feel very comfortable, like, going into playing there. I feel very valued. The, the coach, um, Gene Graybeck, he is so nice and so encouraging, and he has just as much uh, faith in me, if not like more. Be he believes that I will be an asset to the team, um, which is really nice. That yeah. Obviously, he thinks that. Um, so I just feel very valued going there, um, and I just think it's a really good fit because it's small mm -hmm. and very uh, family-oriented and I'm really looking forward to going. Well, I'm sure you are. So what are you planning on majoring over there at Ashland? I'm not quite sure yet, but I'm thinking like finance or accounting, something in the business area. Okay. Well, why why in that area? Um, because I think my parents both work in business okay. and they've kind of taught me to stay in business like cuz cuz I can do a lot with a, a business degree or some a finance degree. Um, and also I like numbers, so that's why accounting or finance. All right. All right. Um, let's give it to your mom. <laughs> Talking to uh, Renee Simovart, the mom of Maya Lee Simovart, here on Shock Talk. What are your thoughts of her choice of choosing Ashland? Well, I'm really happy with her choice. Um, you know, we went to Toledo University and had um, a tour there with the coach, and we went to Finley University um, and when we met Jean Graybeck at Ashland University, we just knew that it was the right fit. Um, yeah. One of the things that really that we really like about him is that he he really values Miley's um, character and kind of her family values. He wanted to meet the whole family. He wanted to meet my husband. He wanted to see her interact with us and. Um, one thing about Miley, also or about our family is that we're hunters, and so he's a hunter. He likes to rabbit hunt. He has a <laughs> farm out east in eastern Ohio, and 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 he just, you know, he just recognized some values that I think some people don't recognize, and yeah. there was a connection there because you know we like being out in the country and we like, you know, our Second Amendment rights or whatever. Yep, it's yep, just. Yep. It's just something that people don't always connect on um, from a sports perspective. So we just we felt we felt like it was a really good fit. Now, seeing your daughter sign with a sign with Ashland and have such a successful high school career, I know it's not over yet, but it's it's towards the, the, the final stretch there of the race. What does it mean to you to see her be so successful now? I'm, I'm just really proud of her. It's been a really long journey. Miley's has overcome a lot of um, challenges in um, being a, a golfer. She's very introverted. Um, we, in order to be successful, um, 
to try to get a golf scholarship, you really have to play in tournaments outside of the high school season. So we did a lot of tournaments um, in Dayton, in mm -hmm. Columbus, and even out of state a little bit. And, um, you know, you're going there. She was. Go we were going there, just the two of us, yeah. without a coach, without a team, playing with complete strangers, playing on courses you've never played before. And it was really intimidating for her. And she's grown a lot through that experience. And to see her have the success um, that she's had and to reap the reward of all that hard work is really exciting. Well, Renee, Mylise, thank you guys for coming out uh, to Ron's and being on Shock Talk. Appreciate it. Congratulations on your signing. And thank you I wish so the much. best for you. You're welcome. I wish the best for you uh, the rest of the year here in high school at Benjamin Logan and then uh, there at Ashland. Thank you You're for welcome. having me. Ain't no problem. Thanks, guys. Renee and Mylise Simovart here on Shock Talk.